Hello, my name is Jo Fern. I am the Extension Project Coordinator for the Tanaka Project. We're here today at Hearts Creek Farm for a launch of our Ellesmere Sustainable Agriculture Trap Library. So we're here today for our pest control workshop and the launch of our trap library and I'm here with Tim from Pest Free Banks Peninsula. So Tim, explain to me why, why are we working together? What is, what is your project doing in the Ellesmere area? Well we're pretty much neighbours, us being based on Kai Treaty um, and you guys working here but, but also from a, from a project perspective it's, it's great to connect with you and the, and the community. Um, oh, explain about what we do, uh, if we can help with any tips or tricks, um, and, and really closing, from a project perspective, closing the door from reinvasion from the Talmusu area onto Kaitariti. And so we've got some traps here, so can you just talk us through these traps? Sure, we'll start off with the, with the big wooden box. So these here are the DOC 250 series, so these here are designed for ferrets, but they'll also get all mustelids uh, and, and uh, rats as well really effective and very safe to be using around people's um, uh, people's houses uh, with the domestic cats and whatnot with with a really small entrance hole for an animal to get into yeah so so really effective trap and really safe to use as well okay cool moving on to the trapinator these are a uh, a kill trap for possums set up on trees they're a single set uh, trap that you manually have to go in service okay. and and rebaiting yep. but if set uh, if set correctly, very effective for possums. And then jumping over to your NZ Auto Traps, the newest trap on the market. It is the first multi-species, multi-kill, self-luring system. Yeah, I've definitely I've seen a few stoats running around the farm, oh, yep. and that was sort of main one of the main reasons why I'd like some traps. Um, I don't want to I want to keep getting eggs out of my chickens. Yeah. Uh, and there's a lot of possums about, and especially this time of year, them you can see where they're, where they're going and where they're coming. So I was just, yeah, want to want to try and get some numbers out of the way. Okay, awesome. So you've taken traps today? Uh, I've got two of two of the dock traps and one each of the possum traps. Wonderful. So, yeah. And so how does, you know, our members, how are they contributing to the project that you're doing? What difference does it make? That's right. So from an operational perspective, huge. If we can reduce the predator numbers down here in, in Ellesmere and Selwyn, then the pressure going on to Kaitariti is much reduced. From a larger perspective, uh, from a larger predator free 2050 perspective, normalising conservation, having conversations uh, around predator control yeah. is certainly going to help um, any scaling up of predator free Canterbury that happens in the future. Yeah.